Hello and welcome back everybody. Uh, here we have an example of a kinetic problem in polar coordinate system. The diagram shows a catapult design that consists of a disc which is welded to a frictionless rod and we have this uh, steel weight that can freely slide uh, along the rod. Initially let's say the steel weight is glued to the rod and it cannot move relative to it so the rod spins at a constant rate of four radians per second that is change of angle theta so i call it theta dot is four radians per second and when theta is at 45 degrees from horizontal the 30 pound weight is released from its position which is two feet from the center of rotation so let's say when theta becomes 45 let's say the disc is glued to the rod the glue fails then it can slide relative to the rod in a radial direction what we are interested in is the force that shafts exerts on the weight uh, and this force has two components one component normal to the shaft and one in radial direction just immediately before it is released let's say the uh, collar the steel weight is glued to the shaft therefore there is a force in radial direction in the glue as soon as the glue fails the steel weight can slide relative to the shaft so let's say that is considered the after the instant after 45 the instant after it is released and then i call it the glue position to be the instant just before it is released so we want to know acceleration of the weight along the shaft at the instant after it is released as well so let's consider it as a problem with two parts uh, if I designate the let's say unit vectors in radial and transverse direction let this be the origin so I call this radial distance R unit vector in radial direction is this way u sub r and perpendicular to it i call it u sub theta so let the, these be the two directions and observe that this is a problem in which motion occurs in a vertical plane not horizontal therefore weight is a key force on your free body diagram statement of the problem doesn't specifically say so but consider this to be a motion in a vertical plane so let's go ahead and draw a free body diagram weight or mg is 30 pounds let's see uh, angular speed i designated it as four radians per second and when r is two feet at the instant we are interested in theta is 45 degrees so these are the given data and let's proceed by looking at a free body diagram of the mass so let's say this is the 30 pound steel weight if i draw the weight it's a vertical force 30 pounds this is w then just before the weight is released there is a force in radial direction let's assume this is that unknown force i call it f sub r a force in radial direction and then we have a force exerted by the steel rod in transverse direction as well i label that as f sub s so let this be the radial direction u sub r and let this be the transverse direction 
use of theta. So these are two unit vectors. This angle is known to be 45. And let's say that I assume that acceleration vector has this direction. So I show M let's say this is the mass m a sub r and m a sub theta this is what i refer to as the mass acceleration diagram on the right hand side and the left hand side is free body diagram so this is a schematic diagram of net force vector equals to m a vector pictorial representation of it before release, before release, we have this free body diagram. So let's write equations of motion. Net force in radial direction equals to m a sub r, and recall that. Well, let's let's choose or show the positive direction next to our equation so I have based on the diagram minus FR in negative direction minus radial component of the weight that is 30 cosine 45 these are the only forces on the left diagram and on the right hand side diagram I have M which is 30 divided by 32.2 times radial component of acceleration. Recall from your kinematics that it is R double dot minus R theta dot squared. Well, before released, distance R is fixed. Therefore, second derivative of R is 0. R is 2 feet theta dot is 4 so I can plug these numbers in this equation and solve the equation for the only unknown f sub r if I do so after numerical calculation I get a value of 8.6 pounds now before there is any relative motion between the weight and the rod I still have another force that I should find net force in transverse direction so let this equation be our guide I choose positive in the direction shown net force in theta direction equals to m a sub theta in transverse direction I have two forces one is positive fs minus weight has a negative component which is 30 sine of 45 equal to m a sub theta m is 30 divided by 32.2 and a sub theta recall from your kinematics i'll write it here a sub r is r double dot minus r theta dot squared a sub theta is r theta double dot plus 2r dot theta dot since the angular uh, speed is constant its derivative which is theta double dot is zero before release since r is a constant of 2 r dot is zero therefore the right hand side of this equation becomes zero i can solve this equation for fs which is simply 30 sine of 45 and this turns out to be 21.21 pounds so let's go to the next slide and see what the forces will be after the glue fails that is when there is relative motion between the rod and the steel weight at the position when theta is 45 degrees so 
Let's draw a free body diagram representing the forces. Um, here I draw. Sorry, I draw this as the steel weight. Um, the unit vectors u sub r and u sub theta r in these directions weight is still a vertical force of 30 pounds making a 45 degree angle with the radial direction well after it is released that is when the glue fails there is no f sub r therefore after release F sub R is zero. So then what I want to do is show a complete free body diagram. I have shown the known force, which is the weight, but observe that there is a force exerted by the rod on the steel weight in transverse direction, which I call Fs again. So writing the equation in transverse direction, net force in transverse direction equals to m a sub theta. So I have, let's see, f sub s, which is positive minus 30 cosine of 45. So... I should say minus sine of in this case it doesn't matter because sine and cosine of 45 are the same but if you strictly want to be correct that component is 30 sine 45 equal to m a sub theta which is r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot so Observe that again, as we mentioned before, since angular speed is constant, theta double dot is zero, but observe that at that instant when theta is 45, or is it still two, uh, therefore this is zero. In other words, initial velocity relative to the rod, that's what our dot is, is zero, therefore as before I get a force of let's see I get a force of um, how much 21.2 one pounds so this is the transverse force if you will now if i write the second equation of motion net force not to be confused with fr but this is sigma f sub r equals to m a sub r which is r double dot minus r theta dot square okay now in radial direction Observe that based on my free body diagram, I have 30 cosine 45, which is in negative direction. So I write minus, uh, let's see, minus uh, 30 cosine 45 equals to mass which is 30 pounds over 32.2 again r double dot is to be found and i have r and theta dot squared so i write r double dot minus 2 times 4 squared so this equation has only one unknown i can solve for and if i do so I get R double dot equals to, uh, let's see, uh, minus 
30 cosine 45 times 32 over 30 plus 4 squared is 16 times 2 it gives me 32 therefore I can now get the final numerical value which is R double dot 9.23 feet per second squared now this is an acceleration in radial direction but it should not be mistaken with a sub r a sub r, a sub r is the total acceleration in radial direction this is part of it r double dot which can be interpreted as the relative speed relative not a speed sorry relative acceleration of the steel rod uh, I mean of, of the steel weight with respect to the rod so it is actually a relative component not a sub r thanks for watching